Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we give you glory, 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 glory. Father, we give you glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you for joining us this morning. As you come in, come on in, giving him glory, giving him glory, giving him glory, giving him glory. Hallelujah, give him glory. Hallelujah. We sing glory, glory, glory. We say glory to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you that there's no time and distance in the spirit, Lord. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that we get to pray. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, that you give us an opportunity to pray, Father. In the name of Jesus, God, we give you glory. Come on. We give you glory. We give you glory. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you glory. Come on, just begin to invite him into your space. Invite him into your home. Hallelujah. Invite him to dwell richly in your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We invite you in, we invite you in, we invite you in, we invite you in. Do what you want to do, oh Lord. Move how you want to move, oh God. We invite you in, you're invited in, you're invited in, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you praise, God. Hallelujah. We give you praise. We set an atmosphere for you to dwell. Hallelujah. Right in your home. Begin to lift up your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that the King of glory can invade your space. Hallelujah. Tell the Lord, invade my space, Lord. Take over my space, Lord. Take over my mind, Lord. Take over every thought, Father, in the name of Jesus that shall hinder the flow of your word, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Enter in, hallelujah. Permeate me, Lord. Permeate me, Lord. Saturate me with your goodness, Lord. Saturate me with your love, oh God. Saturate me with your power, Jesus. We're setting an atmosphere. Somebody say, I'm setting an atmosphere. I'm setting an atmosphere. Hallelujah. I'm setting an atmosphere. Hallelujah. Everything that's not like you, Jesus, we declare it to be moved right now in the name of Jesus. Every thought that's not like you, Jesus. Every pain that's that no pain comes from you, Jesus. We remove it. We say it be gone right now in the name of Jesus, according to your word and according to your will, Father. In the name of Jesus, we give you glory, God. We give you glory, God. We give you glory, God. We sing hallelujah to the King of Kings. Come on and give glory to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. 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 Come on and invite him in. He's invited in. He's invited in. Come on and let him into your homes this morning. Hallelujah. He's right where you are. Hallelujah. He said he'd never leave you and he'd never forsake you. He's with you always. Come on and declare that he's lighting up every pathway. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, that in you there is no darkness. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We invite you in, oh God. We invite you in, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 We invite you in, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 We invite you in, oh God. Oh God, you're worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Jesus. 
Hallelujah, you're worthy, Jesus. Rabo ho so ti shi ke, rere be si ti shi, rada rabo ho so to, rada si ti shi ke, rebe he se te sheke da rabo ho, rada rabo so. You're invited in, oh God. We invite you in, oh God. We decrease so that you can increase in this place. Come on, tell him, Father, increase in this place. Increase in this place, oh God. Increase in this place, oh God. We set an atmosphere, oh God. We set an atmosphere, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We get into divine agreement with your word right now. Even before it comes, God, we thank you that your word is uninterrupted, Father, unhindered, unstopped, unblocked by any satanic or demonic force, God. We thank you, Jesus. We give you praise, God. We give you glory, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We lift up our hands and praise to you, Lord. We lift up our eyes to the hill, Lord. We declare today that our help comes from you, Lord. We thank you for helping us, Lord. We thank you in the name of Jesus for never leaving us, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on in, giving them praise. Come on in, giving them praise. We step out of the way so your glory can fill this place. We step out of the way so your glory can fill this place. I step out of the way so your glory can fill this place. Let your glory fill this place. Let your glory fill this place. Oh God, come on and tell them that this morning. Let your glory fill this place. And then touch yourself and say, let your glory fill this place. Oh God, fill me with your glory, Lord. Fill me with your glory, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We invite you in. Hallelujah. Give them glory. Give them glory. Give them glory. Father, we thank you that you're permeating us, Lord. We thank you that we're clothed with your glory, God. We thank you for your miracle healing service, Lord. We thank you that signs, wonders, and miracles shall follow your word today, oh God. We thank you, Father, that we're demonstrating your word, that we're demonstrating your power, Father. In the name of Jesus, we're running after you, Jesus. We're running after you, Jesus. How many do I have that's running after Jesus? You're running after his goodness because you know he loves you. You're running after his power because you know he's given it unto you. You're running after his healing because you know he's already healed you. Hallelujah. Give him praise and thanks for that. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you for giving us a chance, God, to worship you, Lord, to adore your name, oh God, to make you bigger than any situation oh Lord we're utilizing our prophetic voices right now in the name of Jesus somebody say I'm planting the heavens every time I open up my mouth I'm planting the heavens everything that I need I'm planting it on this earth into my life when I speak your word father we thank you for your word come on and begin to thank him for his word Lord we thank you for your word oh God Lord, we exalt your name and we thank you for your word. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, you got to get yourself out of the way. You got to get yourself out of the way so he can have his way. Lord, we move ourselves out of the way so that you can have your way. Come on and move yourself out of the way so that the king of glory can have his way. Have your way, O oh God. 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 Come on, let's worship him this morning. He's worthy. Somebody should say, He's worthy. He's worthy. Continue as you begin to log in to say he's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. There's none worthy. There's none more worthy. There's none more worthy of honor. There's none more worthy of glory. There's none who has the power. The power to heal me, Jesus. Lord, I know you have the power, Lord. And I declare that this morning. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We give you glory, God. We give you glory, God. Lebe city, lebe hede, randa city shike, randa boho rabo so. Thank you that you heal us. Thank you that you sealed us with the promise of your Holy Spirit. We thank you, God, that we can't be taken out of the will. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, that your will will be done in us. Your will will be done through us in this earth. Tell them, Father, I thank you that I'm in your divine will. Rebe si tishi, rebe he, randa si tishi. Come on, we're planting the heavens. Come on, keep pressing. Keep pressing. We're planting the heavens. Rebe si ti. Every word that you speak, you're planting the heavens. Come on, somebody say, I'm speaking life this morning. Hallelujah. I refuse to speak death. Hallelujah. I'm turning on the life cycle this morning. Rebe si ti. Randa da da boho da 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 sa. We're setting an atmosphere for you to reign, oh God. We're setting an atmosphere for you to reign, oh God. We give you glory. We give you glory. We we give you glory. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, that you're always active in our situations. Hallelujah. So we fervently hold on to your word. Come on, hold on to his word. We hold on to your word this morning. We don't give up. We can't quit. Quitting is not in you. We bind the spirit of quitting right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As I stretch forth my hand, I release a spirit of fervency. I release a spirit of persistence. I release the ability to press. I release the ability to hold on. I release the ability to rely and to depend totally on Jesus. The strength of God is being released into every home right now, into every heart, into every body, into every tissue, organ, and cell. Right now in the name of Jesus. Let it be CT. Come on, somebody say, my life depends on this. The very breath that you breathe is dependent on this. Somebody say, I'm dependent on you, Jesus. I'm dependent on you, Jesus. I'm dependent on you, Jesus. There's no other help I know. Come on, tell them. There's no other help I know. You come through every time, oh God. You come through every time, oh God. You never left me. You've never failed me. Hallelujah. When I think of your goodness and everything that you've done for me, I can't help but to open up my mouth and shout hallelujah. I can't help but to lift up my hands and give you glory. I can't help but to give due honor where honor is due. Every time I turn around, you keep making a way. Somebody say that this morning. Every time I turn around, you keep making a way. Every time I turn around, you keep making a way. Every time I turn around, you keep healing me. Every time I turn around, you keep blessing me. Every time I turn around, you keep making a way. Come on, somebody say God is making a way. You maybe didn't know that this morning, but I'm here to remind you that God is making a way. Hallelujah. The God of forcing open the way is here for you this morning. Somebody better shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm depending on you, Jesus. My life depends on you, Jesus. My health depends on you, Jesus. My mind depends on you, Jesus. My mind is sound. My mind is whole. Come on, keep playing in the heavens. Whatever it is you need, you have the power to create. Somebody say, I have the power to create everything that I need. He's given unto me. He's given me every seed that I will ever need. And so I planted it. I planted it. Hallelujah. I'm planting it. Come on, plant life. Plant life this morning. Life is being extended this morning. God is extending lives this morning. The spirit of suicide is being destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. The spirit of murder is being destroyed. It's being taken out right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The spirit of death is being destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 God is releasing life. God is restoring life. Hallelujah. 
You shall live. You shall live. Somebody say, I shall live. I shall live and not die. I have the word of God to declare, to release, to plant, not only into my life, but into the life of everybody and all that I come into contact with. We give you glory, God. We give you glory, God. We give you glory, God. Come on and receive it this morning. Come on, take part in it this morning. Come on and open up your mouths and plant your heavens into your life. Hallelujah. Plant your life. Begin to be a manager over your garden, over your space, over your heart, over your soul. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We've got to get the Holy Spirit something to work with this morning. Hallelujah. 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 We give you glory, God. We give you glory, God. He's making a way. He's making a way. He's making a way. Somebody say he's already made a way. There's no need for you to worry about it. Hallelujah. We come against stress, anxiety, worry, and fear because God, he's already made a way. Hallelujah. I'm not worried about it. Somebody say, I'm not worried about it because he's already made a way. I'm not worried about it. I'm not concerned about it. Hallelujah. I'm taking no thought about it because he's already made a way and he's already paved the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're setting an atmosphere. We're setting an atmosphere. We're setting an atmosphere. Everything that's not like Jesus has got to move. Somebody say, it's got to move. It's got to move. It's got to move. It's got to get out of the way. Somebody say, look out, devil. I know who I am. I know who I belong to. Hallelujah. I know the power that I possess. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you glory, God. We thank you, Father, that your word shall flow uninterrupted, unstopped and checked by any satanic or demonic force. Father, we thank you that you speak through our vocal cords, Lord, and that you think through our minds, God. It's none of us, Father, and it's all of you, Jesus. Somebody say it's all about the kingdom. It's all about the kingdom. Somebody say this is kingdom business. This is the Lord's business, and we're handling it this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He's making a way. He's already made a way. He's already made a way. He's already made a way. God is invading our minds. He's invading this earth through you. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, because yours is the kingdom. Ours is the kingdom. Somebody say that. Because yours is the kingdom, mine is the kingdom. Because yours is the glory, I experience glory. I show forth glory. Hallelujah. Because yours is the power, and I know that you've given that power to me, Father. I exercise that power on today. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. As we enter into this service, we thank you that it's your service, God. We're moving with your flow. We're moving according to your agenda, Lord. Not our agenda, Father, but your agenda, Father. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. How many of you know that we have to allow the Holy Spirit time to take up residence? Hallelujah. To speak to us. To get us right. We're not waiting for the Holy Spirit to get right, but we're getting our minds right. We're setting the temperature. We're setting our minds on the heavens and we're keeping them set. So there's nothing, somebody say nothing, that will hinder us stop us or block us from hearing his words sometimes we get too busy we get too busy and we move too fast hallelujah but we have to remember that we've got to give the Holy Spirit time to move to remind us to teach us to train us to equip us to do the work hallelujah Somebody say, I'm, my atmosphere is set. My atmosphere is set. My atmosphere is set. There is nothing that will hinder me from hearing your word, oh God. Somebody say, nothing. There's nothing. Hallelujah. You're, you're invited into this place, God. 
We're sealed. Somebody say, I'm sealed with the promise of the Holy Spirit. I'm sealed. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, hallelujah. We just, we just thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the gathering of the thank champions. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome to the Kingdom of Heaven Church International. Thank you, Lord. Uh, we're so glad to uh, uh, join you, you today for service. We're so glad that you made a quality decision to join thank us. You, and we uh, present, uh, we, we appreciate you, and we would just like to. Uh, uh, share with you that we want you to feel free to join into the service yes, comment. God. yes Lord um, and we ask that you go ahead and uh, share this message uh, share the service with those who uh, you know uh, that uh, uh, just need to hear a true authentic word from the Lord this morning amen yes, uh, amen uh, we're gathered here together uh, as uh, champions as uh, believers as, and we're gathered to be strengthened to be encouraged to receive direction with clarity and understanding and we uh we honor god for you and for your presence on this morning amen yes, amen and it's such a blessing to be here we thank god for you who are tuning in from all over the, the world overseas uh, we are so appreciative of you i see amen. somebody on here uh that's down in uh st croix we thank god for that uh uh kuwait uh and on the west coast also we thank god for you all amen and we appreciate you uh just taking time out of your day to uh, worship with us. And so we won't uh, uh, delay the time. We just, uh, we're going to go right ahead and, and get into this word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. How many of you know that it's important that we follow the flow of the Holy Spirit? And so um, those of you that have been here with us, we continue to move and flow with God's agenda. We have a kingdom agenda. And that means that there's no room for flesh. Mm -hmm. There's no room for um, us taking the credit, but we give God the glory. And so we have to be so in tune and so set. And as I said, invaded um, by the Holy Spirit that he's able to permeate us and to fully take over every thought, every intention and every uh, action or intent that we have to make sure that he gets the glory mm -hmm. that he is seen here on this earth and that his message is delivered. Amen. And so that's what we're here for today. Um, we're here to bring a word of encouragement. Somebody say, I need to be encouraged today. I need to be encouraged today. No matter what's going on. No matter what's going on. You need to be encouraged no matter what's going on. God tells us to be of good cheer. He declares that in, in John chapter 16, he says that I've told you these things so that in me, you may have perfect peace. So we declare today that God will allow you to work and walk in perfect peace, that you will receive the perfect peace of God, that you will walk in this confidence. He says that I've told you these things that in me, you may have perfect peace and confidence in the world. You have tribulations and trials and distress and frustration, but be of good cheer. He says to take courage, to be confident, to be certain, to be undaunted, for I have overcome the world. He says I have deprived it of power to harm you and have conquered it for you. He's telling you to be unshakable mm. and to rest assured. Amen. God is saying today that it's time for you to walk in perfect peace. It's time for us to have confidence in all of these messages that we hear, all of the, the church services that we're, we attend. Uh, we're no longer just showing up for service and just showing up for church, you know, to the building. It's time for us to experience everything that God has uh, in, in store for us to enter into this fullness of time, to enter into this fullness of what God has promised us. And because we're experiencing tribulations, trials and distress, mm -hmm. that doesn't matter right. because he, he's, he's given us keys to make sure that we know how to handle that. And he tells us to be of good cheer. He says to continue to be courageous. Mm -hmm. Continue to walk in confidence. 
to be fully persuaded, to be certain. Don't be swayed. Don't be shaken. Don't be moved. Don't be bamboozled. Don't be mesmerized with what's going on in the world. Don't move. Mm-hmm. Because I've already overcome what is going on in the world. He already knows what's taking place and what's to take place. He says that he set you aside and set you apart. That it has no power to harm you because he's already conquered it to be unshakable, to be assured. He can, Then he goes on to, to declare to us in the book of Psalms. And, I, and, and this came during the prayer 118 that you shall live. And not uh, you shall uh, not die, but you shall live. Why? To declare the works and recount the illustrious acts of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Somebody say I'm unshakable and I will declare the works of the Lord. He told us in Isaiah that he's put his words in our mouth in order to plant the heavens. If you look, uh, if you go with me and I know I'm I'm going through scriptures and and these are not our key scriptures this morning but i just want to give you some scriptural basis of what we're talking about we've always got to make sure that we do what god says and so we know that what you see here at the kingdom and what you uh experience here is not what you're used to but how many of you know we've told you before that god is moving us on to something not just something new but something different. We're in Kairos time right now. We've moved on from chronological time, just showing up according to chronological or physical time. But we are in God's time of opportunity, the right time in order that allows fruit to be able to produce in our lives. Amen. And so here in Isaiah 51 and 16, um, he tells us, let me just go there real quick. Um, Isaiah 51 and 16, he says, I put my words in your mouth and I have conquered thee in the shadow of my hand that I may plant the heavens and lay foundations of the earth and say unto Zion, thou art my people. Amen. And so he's put his words in your mouth. We've told you, you are a prophetic voice. You're able to plant the heavens. He told us in Genesis 1 and 28 that he's given you every herb yielding seed, everything that you need, that he's given it to you. He's given it to you to be able to plant it, to be able to spring forth and to grow whatever it is that you need. Mm -hmm. Somebody say, God has put his words in my mouth and I have the ability to plant the heavens. What does that mean? Everything that's in heaven, I'm able to pull it down to the earth, but I've got to do my part. Mm -hmm. I've got to do my part. So just if we just, so we're here today to encourage you to just do a, 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 a reminder of everything and kind of slow down and bring everything um, to full circle to, to, to compartmentalize every messages that we've been teaching um, to make it relevant to where we are right now uh, in, in the world so that you are clear and understanding of what is going on. When you receive understanding, you're able to hold on. Amen. When you receive understanding, as you as you talked about last week, Pastor, you're able to press through. Yeah. And so don't be moved when you see new things happening and different mm -hmm. things happening don't right. count that as not being God. Amen. Because God is yeah. doing it. He's, he's been started doing a new mm -hmm. thing. He's pouring out fresh wine. He's mm -hmm. doing something new and something different. And he's doing it mm -hmm. through you because we are the church. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so just as we declared the month of March as a time of, of uh, intense prayer and declaration, the word of the Lord came to us prophetically we, 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 we identified that that represented us planting specific seeds. We were intently planting specific seeds into the ground. Somebody say, I've got seeds in the ground. I've got a seed in the ground. So don't remember, don't, don't, please remember and don't forget that you have seeds in the ground. And so during that time of intense declaration and prayer, you continue to increase in your discernment. You should have been able to clearly hear from God mm -hmm. that unction. And that something told me on the inside, you've identified that as the Holy Spirit speaking mm -hmm. those spontaneous thoughts that you have that come to you. That's God speaking. 
those dreams and those visions that you've experienced. Come on, I know I'm talking to somebody this morning that was God speaking. You began to get in divine tune in agreement with God. You began to increase in your ability to discern the times, to know what was going on, and even to know ahead of time, be prepared ahead of time of what was to come so that you could uh, uh, govern yourselves and, and prepare yourselves. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so we began to, during that time, to strategically begin to be more focused on God's timing mm -hmm. than the chronicle, chronological time that I just spoke about. So we were moving into Kairos. Somebody say Kairos. Kairos. That opportune time, that strategic time. Although that time where you're able to produce fruit, that time where you you have a great opportunity to produce fruit, but with the understanding that um, the fullness has not yet come, but we're moving on to fullness. You know, for example, uh, as a woman goes into labor, amen, they're, they're in that time of labor. During that time, that time can be a time of difficulty, amen? amen. That time is a time of pain. It's a time of pressing. It's a, it could be a, a, a difficult time, but you're, you're pushing forth to that, to that time of, of fullness, to the, when the full birth comes. So during that time, you can't give up. You told us this uh, last Sunday, pastor began to talk about it. During that time, it's important that we press. Uh, if you turn quickly to to Galatians, uh, I believe it's. Let's see. Somebody say, "Speak, Holy Spirit." Speak, Holy Spirit. Speak, Holy Spirit. Galatians chapter four. Amen. In verse four, it says here, "But when the fullness of time was come." Mm -hmm. God sent his son, born of a woman, born subject to the regulations of the law. Somebody say the fullness of time is coming. The fullness of time is coming. <laughs> the fullness of time is coming. Uh -huh. We are moving towards that time. Amen. But we have to know what's going on so that we don't give up. Amen. We have to have understanding. And these are the keys that pastor's been talking about. Mindset, um, confession, meditating on his word so that we don't give up. For lack of understanding. Right. The Bible says that we perish or we die because we don't understand. Mm -hmm. so. It's time that the people of God understand. It's time that we not be destroyed because we don't understand. Somebody say, I understand now. I understand now. So in the month of April, we declared that the rain was coming. Okay. We're in April right now, the latter rain, coming to water our seeds. Yeah. Coming to water those seeds that have been planted, those wow. seeds of faith, the seeds of love, those seeds of joy, those seeds of, of persevering, mm -hmm. the health that we are, the healing that we're waiting to manifest because we know that we're already healed. That abundance mm -hmm. that we've been calling forth, the time to get full. This, this is our time to get full. Listen, this statement that I'm about to say, it, it still works. Amen. Prayer changes things. Yeah. Prayer changes things. Prayer changes things and it sets you up for the promise. Mm -hmm. Prayer is what sets you up and holds you up for the things that God promises you. It touches the heart of God mm -hmm. and it moves the hand of God. Yeah. Let me say that again. Prayer touches the heart of God and it moves the hand of God. God specializes in things that we think are impossible, that things that we think that can't happen or can't work. I want to make this as plain as I can today. He can do what no other power or, or no other person or being can do. Amen. So it's never too late. Mm -hmm. For God to work, we, we tell you all the time, he's always active in our situation. Uh, 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 so prayer is giving you consent, is giving God consent and permission mm -hmm. to get involved in your life. Somebody say, I've got to give him permission. i got to give him permission. So I can get the answer, so I can get his solution. Mm -hmm. So I can walk in the restoration that he has for me. So even even there in the in the in the darkest and most desperate times of, of, of your life, it's not too late to depend on and to believe God. Somebody say pray. Pray. We can't forget prayer in the scheme of things and everything that we're faced with and we go through. We cannot forget 
prayer. And it, we, we know that that comes in several forms, but we just want to focus today on praying, utilizing the keys of the kingdom, pray and live, pray that you, so that you can live. He, he, he said that he came that you can, that you may have lit life and have it more abundantly. Pastor, you want to come in here on that? Um, the abundance of God is uh, when you're talking about, uh, and I'm tying in this this prayer and in, uh, into last week when we talked about the latter rain and the latter rain assists the the seed that that was planted uh, in in har in the harvest and uh, she talked about the press. The press is when when you're talking about pressing. We're talking about being forced into service, mm -hmm. forced into action, mm -hmm. being urged to transition, to move. And so we said that um, last week that the plant has to be uh, uh, has to have the strength to break through or press forward. Mm -hmm. And the latter rain has that responsibility of of assisting or enabling that plant to have the strength to press forward. Now that what that means and what she was saying is this, we cannot press forward without the strength of God. Amen. You cannot contend without the strength of God. If you try to do it in your own strength, it will always bring about uh, dissatisfaction and discouragement. The things that we pulled you out of mm -hmm. uh, with the word of God, knowledge and understanding helps you to come to an understanding that you need God mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you, you have to rely on his strength and his ability, his anointing. And last week I talked about Jacob. Jacob was contending with God, but he couldn't contend with the, the angel without the strength that came from God. And so she said things are changing right now for our good. Mm -hmm. And is changing for your good because you uh, are receiving the word. You're receiving understanding. You understand the keys of, of, of mindset, knowledge, and understanding in confession. And that brings you into a place where although the thief may come to kill, steal, and destroy, you won't be a partaker in uh, being destroyed because you have knowledge and understanding of the authority that God has given you. The uh, knowledge and understanding of the, the the words that you have you shall speak and that God is with you, and so because of that, the harvest comes, and the threshing and the pressing is a sign of the abundance. Mm -hmm. Jesus came that we might uh, have life and have it uh, in abundance to the full until it overflows. He came so that you could have and enjoy life, and so in the beginning. You said, you went to the scripture, mm -hmm. when he said, tribulations shall come. So we know tribulations come, mm -hmm. but Jesus has overcome the world. Mm -hmm. So with that, you win. Mm -hmm. With that, you are equipped to experience the abundance that God has predestined for you. Amen? Amen. And so as we go on, the mindset shifts you into a, a way of thinking that aligns with kingdom. The mindset shifts you into a mindset that agrees with God and cooperates with God. Amen. So no matter what you face, you continue to declare the word of God. Amen. No matter what you feel in your physical body, you continue to declare the word of God. You don't come into agreement with it. No matter what situation you find yourself in, like Jacob, you have to remember that God has given you the strength, his strength, to break through, to break forth. Amen? John 10 and 10. And you talked about this last week, too. John 10 and 10, and I'm going to read the Amplified Version. Um, it says, the thief comes only in order to steal and to kill and destroy. Mm -hmm. I came 
that they may have and enjoy life Amen. and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows mm -hmm. a real life in him better than you could ever dream of a rich and satisfying life is what God wants us to have Amen. somebody say God is is giving me a life better than I ever could dream of mm -hmm. I'm about to enter into a rich and satisfying life it's time out for us just going through the motions mm -hmm. and coming to church and trying to convince people that this is a way of life that's intended for us, but they're continuing to experience doom and gloom. Amen. They're experience to, to continuing to experience sickness and disease. Mm -hmm. They're continuing to experience lack uh, or, or poverty. Or, or setbacks or disappointments is because of lack of understanding. It's because it's time for us to have those hard conversations. You told us this months ago. It's time for us to have those conversa conversations so that we can understand what it is that we are faced with. Amen. Amen. And so that's what we're moving towards now. We're moving towards that fullness of time. This life enjoying life how many of you want or at a time you just want to enjoy life amen, amen. It's come on it's okay to be in the kingdom yeah. and enjoy life yeah. to it, we're, this is real this morning this is we didn't come to you know hoop and holler and all that kind of stuff and that's good because we do that too amen but we're coming to sit down up close and personal with you this morning to bring it all in to make it relevant uh -huh. so it is clear that you understand what it is that we are dealing with in this world the thief yeah. comes only to kill steal and to destroy you mm -hmm. he 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 wants to take you out yes he's literally he literally wants to take the breath out of your body but you've got to know how to utilize the keys of the kingdom you've got to know that you must pray you've got to have a lifestyle of dedication and uh -huh. when you're praying you're in agreement with the word of god so you in other words you've got to stay in agreement with the word of god and live you can't be back and forth to and fro unstable you've got to be fully persuaded and fully assured so that you can live mm -hmm. that's good You've got to be fully persuaded so that you can live. That's what we are moving towards. The fullness of time. He says that he came so that you can have life, mm -hmm. enjoy life, yeah. in abundance to the full. Somebody say the fullness of time. The fullness God of time. intends for me to, to, to walk in full bloom. Hallelujah. Yes. Until it overflows. overflows. You know how you plant flowers? And then you plant flowers and you plant them in this place, but then you look at it and, and that same flower, I'm talking about my flowers, yeah. they spring forth in another place, in places that I didn't plant them the first time. Yeah. And so it, it's spilling over. The seeds are spilling over. The wind is causing the seeds to spill over and to take root because I've got good soil. I've got yes. good land. Yes. And so now my space where I planted that first seed begins to be invaded by the by the fullness of what been. was planted. Yeah, it has been. It's duplicating. Mm -hmm. It's being replicated. Amen. He says to have dominion, hallelujah, to duplicate and to do in you in other people in this earth in this world what i've done in you That's until true. it overflows come into what begin to have and enjoy life walk in abundance to the full and then overflow mm -hmm. and an overflow means taking over show this real life in christ mm -hmm. that you never could dream of operating and walking into this life of satisfaction somebody say i'm about to be satisfied I'm about to be satisfied. come on you better catch wow, this this morning you better catch this every is. prophetic nugget that's falling and dropping to this earth straight from the heavens this morning that's what we're moving towards this kairos time this time of great yeah. opportunity this time that we have shifted it doesn't mean that the process is over or finished, but it means that we're in a time of strategy. Yeah. We're in a time, we're in a strategic season of great opportunity, moving forth or moving, pressing forward mm -hmm. onto the full bloom or this fullness of time. Amen. Amen. And that's good. And I'm, I'm glad that you, you talked about your flowers and, and they begin to reproduce in the different places because that that's a, uh, I can I can uh, bring that into the revelation of, of behavior. 
Mm-hmm. A behavior, most people say behavior determines success, attitude determines success, but the behavior it is developed out of a mindset. Right. That's and, one of the keys. And, and so because of what's in the seed, the seed is designed to reproduce mm-hmm. continuously. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so as you planted your, your flowers, the queens, as they took up the space, although it appeared that they ran out of space, because they were rooted and grounded, they were able to expand and grow up in places that you did not plant. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. And so when you have a set mind that agrees with God. That's prayer. Hallelujah. (laughs) Prayer prayer all day. Your behavior is determined by what's on the inside of you. Jesus said you ain't corrupt by what you put in. You're corrupt and defiled by what comes out of your mouth. And so... If your behavior is a uh, uh, is is revealing heaven on earth, the kingdom, that is because of a mindset that says, "I am. I renew my mind. I am transformed, and my transformation caused me to agree with God. So, because I agree with God, cooperate with God, my behavior causes me to act like God. Amen. And and so. We're able to expand Mm -hmm. our capacity to believe, expand Mm -hmm. our capacity, listen to me, to receive. You have to be you have to be positioned in a place of a level of maturity to expand your capacity to receive from God and experience his glory manifesting in your life. But if you stay in the same place, you're going to have the same experience. This is what we're moving towards. This this is where we are. And that's why we wanted to take this time this morning just to identify and just slow down um, the messages and just really make sure that there's a clear understanding mm. that no matter what you may be faced with, mm-hmm. continue to declare God is strong and he yes. wants you strong. We, we talked about this last year. God is strong and he wants me strong. Amen. When you when I'm thinking about those plants and those flowers, somebody say I'm strong and I'm rooted and grounded in God. Amen. So your growth and your deliverance, amen, your full bloom cannot be stopped when you're strong and you're rooted and you're grounded in God. Again, when I think about a couple of weeks ago, um, the seasons began to change Mm -hmm. physically and things that I had planted last year began to spring forth. Mm -hmm. Well, before they, first of all, they never went away. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because when you get into a certain space with God, you, you can still see what you planted. Amen. When I, when I look at my flowers, I can, they may not be in full uh, 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 glory in December or January, but I can see. And even if I can't see, I know where those seeds have been planted. So I'm expecting them to come back up because I've done the work Mm -hmm. and I've seen them strong before. And so my expectation is that they come back stronger and stronger and stronger because I understand the power of being rooted. I I understand the power of the strength that comes from being rooted and grounded and nourished. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so when my flowers began to come up, mm-hmm. let's see, this is this is this is April. Yeah. They began to like really, really come up in March. Yeah. And the weather changed and the, the we had warm, we had a lot of warm days. And so the earth uh came into agreement with or responded to the temperature. Mm-hmm. And so the, the the flowers began to spring forth as if it was time for them to to, to bloom mm-hmm. they, they 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 began to pen, penetrate the earth and so then there was a call for frost yeah and i said i'm not worried about it mm-hmm. i'm not there's going to be a frost we're going to have a freezing and you know people worried about the flowers have come and they're going to lose their crop of flowers i said i'm not worried about it you know why? Because I knew the work that I had put in and I knew those flowers were strong. Mm-hmm. I knew the background. I knew that they were rooted and grounded. I knew the strength of them. 
And so the frost came in mm -hmm. and it appeared I said it appeared. It just appeared. <laughs> that they had been damaged yeah. and they wouldn't make it. Mm -hmm. But how many of you know that you have to the the word of God is a spiritual a spiritual concept. And so we don't go by what we see with our physical eyes. We walk by faith of what's in the word of God. Mm -hmm. And by faith, I knew what was below the surface. Amen. And so I knew that although the frost had fallen, that they were going to be okay. Uh -huh. Somebody needed to know that this morning. Although difficulties come and things come to try to challenge you, Amen. it's okay. It's okay. Because you're rooted and grounded. Come on. You know who you are. Okay. Yes, it is. And so it appeared that they were damaged and they had a little, they were a little frazzled. You know, they looked a little wilted and all that, but I didn't care because they had all, they had been through it before and I've seen it happen before and because I knew the strength hallelujah yeah. I knew that they would be okay God has done it for you over and over again he's come through for you over and over again so you need to be reminded this morning that the same way he came through before and you rose up with strength hallelujah although it may appear that the enemy is about to attack you and take you out and try to stunt your growth hallelujah you're going to grow up and you're being matured you're being yes, you're, you're mastering Mm -hmm. the, the keys of the kingdom and you're going to continue to grow forth in full bloom even stronger than you were last year mm -hmm. I read it last week in, in the book of Leviticus you're going to be even stronger than you were last year mm -hmm. and so when I look at those flowers today somebody say today today this morning this morning <laughs> they are strong as if no. there was no freezing right God is saying this morning, He can, God speaks to us through the simple things. You got to begin to pay attention to the simple things yeah. because he's created it all. Mm -hmm. They're standing tall. They look better than they did last year. Come on. They're, 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 they're overtaken. They've multiplied. Even, even some things that was supposed to when they told me at the florist would not come back if you know the difference between annuals and perennials. And perennials are supposed to come back every year. Annuals are not. Even those things that they told me would not come back have come back. Sure enough. <laughs> to the point where they're overtaken in places that I didn't plant them and I had to dig them up and plant them somewhere else. It's in the soil. It's I had to give them away. I gave some to my mother. I gave some to my niece. I gave some to my son. And, and I see them grow. And I've seen them grow. I've seen, I've, I've planted flowers. In every state that I've lived in, the flowers that I have in my house right now began years and years ago in other houses and places that we lived in that we dug up and brought with us. Am I telling the truth? Tell them the truth. Tell them the truth. Because we know the potential. <laughs> I know this might be, you know, not be what you expected, but it's God. Amen. We we came to, to give it to you the way that God gave it to us this morning. Yeah, we're creating an atmosphere for all people to understand. To everybody, everybody don't need a pulpit and somebody behind a pulpit. Some sometimes you need to be up close and personal yeah. and, and get real with people, and that's what we're doing. And, and we, we we making it real for those who you need understand. who need it this way. And and so a true leader uh, is flexible. A true a true leader will always be innovative. And so because the Holy Spirit is innovative, we we roll with the Holy Spirit. Whatever he tells us to do, that's what mm -hmm. we do. And so so in this situation, God has just given us to, uh, the, 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 the guidance to deliver this message to you in this manner so that somebody out there can receive. Somebody out there can uh, be comfortable in joining the service. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so. What I need for you to do as we continue to talk about this, uh, I'm going I'm to transition back from that to, uh, to understand that you might be in, facing a situation, mm -hmm. but because you had an experience with God, I need you to be declaring with God that what he's done before, he's about to do again and greater. Oh, That's what I need you to declare over I your life. It. I received what it. What God has done for me before. He's about to do again and greater. <laughs> That's good, Pastor. Because someone's out there struggling with something, trying to figure something out. Yeah. But if you heard me in the beginning, I said you 
You, whatever you do, you need to do it in God's strength, you in his strength, because your strength is not enough to overcome the enemy and, and the attacks that's coming against you. And so what God has done for you before, he's about to do again and greater. Jesus. Somebody needed to receive that. Yes. Yes. Strong, rooted and grounded. Mm -hmm. We've got to be safe. We've got to feel safe. Yeah. We say this all the time. This is a safe place. It's a safe place to heal, a safe place to be restored, restore, a safe place to, to be grow. delivered, becoming all things to all men yeah. in order to win them over for the sake of the gospel. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's what we're here for. It is our desire that no one gets left behind and does not understand mm -hmm. what God is saying, yeah. why we're here and what this is all about. Yeah. It's, it's, it's it's, it's not that difficult. It's time out for people thinking that church and prayer is a task. Oh my God, it's Sunday, it's church again. The choir is singing. And then they're taking up the offering. And then the pastor's coming up. He's going to be up for about 15, 20 minutes. Time out for that. Mm. Time out for doing the method. What is it? The methods and the, yeah. the, the theatrical productions and all those things. It's time for us to us to be produced. Yes. It's time for what instead of doing the theatrical productions, it's time for the word of God to be produced, mm -hmm. to be seen in our in our in our lives. Mm -hmm. The same way we go to our jobs every day and we receive a harvest or we receive compensation for what we've done. It's time for us to receive compensation in the kingdom. It's OK. You go to work every day. and You receive compensation. So why can't we receive compensation here? God, everything that's in the earth, God has already created anyway. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So then you can't be stopped. Mm -hmm. So in the month of May, which we're going on to, yeah, we, we, listen, you got to be ready. Wait. We've been preparing you. God has been speaking to us and we wanted to be here today so that you, somebody say me. Me. And who are in agreement with the kingdom of heaven church international carriers of the kingdom carrying the presence of God on the inside we know we have insight uh, uh, intuition and all those things that we know what's to come remember we're not governed by what we see in the world or what we see on TV or even in the news we get our information and our intel straight from heaven mm -hmm. And we pull it down to the earth That's on it. earth just as it is in heaven yeah. and so we declare that the month of May Mm -hmm. As the beginning of the breakthrough, mm -hmm. the beginning of this uh, this blooming that we talked about, this yeah. this 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 uh, this fullness of time, mm -hmm. this time of of, of, of bursting forth, uh -huh. um, this time that you're 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 entering into that stage of completion. Now know that it just doesn't just it starts in May, but it's not, that doesn't mean it, it's over when May is no, over. Amen. Not. So you've got to understand and discern the times and uh -huh. the seasons of God. We're just trying to make it relevant so that you can identify and, and, and put your hands on where we are physically because we have to have a balance. Amen. Uh -huh. We can't just talk about all the spiritual things and, you know, we're floating on the cloud 24 hours a day and nobody gains understanding. Amen. Amen. And so we have to connect those realms so that everyone understands Jesus spoke in parables. And so you're, you're beginning to break forth in the month of May. There's some, some, some ways forward that you're going to have to step into. There's some, some things that you've been, uh, 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 uh you've been hesitant about. Um, you, you, you've pl you plundered and you've, you pondered about whether you should do it, whether you should go there or what you should do. God said, that's the time that you're going to have to step uh, forward by faith. Remember I told you it's an opportune time. Amen. You've got to step forward yeah. by faith. You've got to, you've got to begin to, to rely on him for advancement uh -huh. and for promotion. You've got to really hear him clearly. Amen. Because I told you that your prayers are beginning to it penetrate the earth. Yeah. They're piercing through to the earth. Causing everything that you believe for, that you pray for, that this pressing, the pressing was not for for not. No. The pressing had a purpose. Amen. Yes. Yes. The pressing has a purpose. Amen. Yes. It is it, 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 it's, it's you showing that you're in agreement with God and you're not giving up. It's causing everything that you believe for mm -hmm. to make its way into the earth. You're forcing it mm -hmm. into the earth. You're 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 uh Making it uh, uh, come into this earth. Somebody say, let it grow. Let it grow. Let it grow. Pastor talked last week about phototropism. Y'all know I'm a biology teacher. That's when <laughs> flowers grow or plants grow toward the light. 
Glory to God. Amen. If you just focus on the light, Jesus <laughs> is the light. Amen. You begin to, to grow and get your nourishment from him. Then you respond to that light. Yes. You're, you're drawn to that light. Yeah. And then it's not so hard to pray. It doesn't seem like a task. And remember, we're saying prayer is just you get in agreement with God. It's not always you getting on your knees, Father, in the name of Jesus, going in the closet for 40 days and 40 nights. We know that's religious. Prayer is a lifestyle. Yes, it is. We told you that. It's a way of living. Uh -huh. It's setting your mind and keeping it set and coming into agreement with his word and then beginning to declare it over your uh -huh. life. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I pray for a living. I pray for a living. I got to let it grow. Woo. That's good. That's good. That's real good. You talked about photoscopism <laughs> and the plant growing. Um, toward the light. It's responding to, to the light and it's growing toward the light. Toward the source. Toward the source that it's being strengthened from. Because mind you, while it's in that soil, it's being strengthened. It's given the strength to break through. Now, let you saying, how does that pertain to you? So your heart is the soil. Mm, 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 mm. And when you put the word of God, somebody say plant the word of God in your heart. When when the word of God is planted in your heart, in order for you to experience the, 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 the word manifesting from the spirit to the natural, it has to break through the soil of your heart. And so some areas of your heart might be hardened. So the the seed has to draw strength from the root. It's coming from two places, from the root and from the sun. The sun being God, the sun being Jesus, the sun being the Holy Spirit. And, the, and it's rooted and grounded in God. Amen. And so it gives the, the seed the strength to break through. Hallelujah. Some of you are looking for a breakthrough in your life, but oh, Jesus. the Holy Spirit who was sent to guide you into all truth to be your advocate, to be your counselor, is, is, is he's, he's also responsible for revealing to you what you need to deal with. Now, we share with you that there's some things that, that the Holy Spirit is not going to allow you to carry, to carry into this next season. You're not going to be able to bloom until you break off or break through the very thing that has hindered you. Some of you are looking for promotion, but it, it has to come. It has to, something has to break something. And, and, and as it breaks way, hallelujah, it is, its focus is to be what? Guided by and, and drawn to the sun. Mm -hmm. And when it's drawn to the sun, the sun releases the power, the authority, the ability, the life of God which causes, because this is what y'all need to understand. Every seed has beauty in it. And it's time for you to experience the beauty, the grandeur, the yes. glory that's in the seed yes. of God's word in your life. Yes. It's time for you to, it's time for you to experience the elevation, the, prom the, the promotion, the ascension spiritually and naturally in, 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 in your life. It's time for you to come out of the darkness and come to the light. The darkness being the things that have hindered you, the things that have stopped you, the things that have caused you to have a low self-esteem, the things of your past. Those things are over. And in your submission to God, your submission strengthens you with the strength of God to break through. Somebody say, let it grow. Let it grow. Listen. You said the seed draws strength from the root. So your energy comes from the source. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the source is the word of God. That source is the light because light is yeah. what gives the plant energy. It's the source of its growth. So the word of God is the source of our growth. Anytime that we're not growing, we've got to go to the word. Amen. Anytime that our prayers are not coming forth, we've got to, it's, they've got to be based on the word of God. They can't be amiss or at, uh, 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 not prayed according to the word of God. So when you look at Hebrews 4 and 12, it says the word of God that speaks, that the word that God speaks. Uh -huh. So the, the word that we speak and the prayers that we pray according to the word of God. Oh, Jesus. Amen. It says the words that God speak. Uh -huh. So that means we want to be speaking what God says. Yeah. 
It says that word, somebody say that word. That word. Is alive and full of power. Yes, it is. Making it active, operative, energizing. Mm -hmm. There's the word energy. The word of God is, is our source. That's where we draw our strength from. That's where we get okay. growth from. It is effective. It's able to take full bloom. It's able to come to full completion. Why? Because it is sharpened into an, any two-edged sword, penetrating to the divine line of breath of life, soul, and immortal spirit, and of joints and marrow of the deepest parts of our nature, exposing and sifting and analyzing and judging the very thoughts and the purposes of the heart. It has the ability to cut and to bind and then to turn around and heal, to mature, yes, and to grow. Mm hmm Somebody say, I got to let it grow. I got to let it grow. There's no way around this without the word of God. Amen. <laughs> when we're we're talking about praying for a living, that means you've got to depend on the word of God as your words. You've got to replace your words with, with the, the word, word of God. God. If you go to James chapter one, oh, James chapter one. Somebody say, I got to let it grow. I got to let it grow. James chapter one says, let's see, verse, let's look at verse three. Mm -hmm. He says here that the trying of your faith work in patience. Verse four, but let patience have a perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing. Mm -hmm. That sounds like the fullness of time to me. Mm -hmm. That's what we're moving towards. Mm -hmm. One translation says when the way is rough and your patience has a chance to grow. Somebody say I'm pressing. I'm pressing. So let it grow and don't try to squirm your way out of your problems. Wow. For when your patience is finally in full bloom. Somebody say my patience is in full bloom. My patience is in full bloom. Then you will be ready for anything strong in character, full and complete. <laughs> Glory to God. Your patience is in full bloom. You uh -huh. are ready. You are strong. You are full. You are complete. Amen. It says... Be assured and understand that the trial and proving of your faith bring out endurance. Yes. So you're able to make it through. Yes. You're steadfast and you're patient. Uh huh. Um, it says that you will be fully developed. Uh huh. You will have full play and do a thorough work so that you may be perfectly and fully developed with no defects, mm. lacking nothing. nothing. And if you don't do anything, it says, Pray to the Father because He loves you. Yeah. He helps you. He gives you help. Um, not to worry. Don't take a second thought. No. Don't think that you're gonna get anything less than what He's promised you. Amen. Amen. And that's okay. And it's okay. So you talked about <laughs> grandeur and splendor and anything that we uh Receive from God if you look at first Peter. I know this is a lot of scripture, but we're giving you some foundation yeah. today. First Peter chapter four. And I'm just relying on the Holy Spirit to uh tie these scriptures in. First Peter chapter four. Mm -hmm. When you talk when I when I heard you talk about this magnificence mm -hmm. and what we're faced with, mm -hmm. we've heard this scripture uh, all the time. It says, think it not strange, beloved, first of all, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, mm -hmm. which is to try you as though something strange happened to you. Mm -hmm. Verse 13, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering, mm -hmm. that when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad with the exceeding, exceeding joy. Mm -hmm. What is this saying? That full bloom and that magnificence and splendor is right around the corner. Mm -hmm. But you, again, that key that you've got to utilize goes back to that mindset. You've got to, don't forget God. You've got to remember <laughs> and you've got to operate with the mind of Christ. That understanding that you've received of that kingdom mindset that you've got to continue to operate in. He's saying that the same way flowers look and they come into full bloom. So at, likewise is your life. The magnificence and splendor is about to be seen in your life. Yeah. One translation says, friends, when life gets really difficult, don't jump to the conclusion that God isn't on the job. 
We say all the time, God is always active always in active your place. situation. It says, instead, be glad that you are in the very thick of what Christ experienced. Mm -hmm. This is a spiritual refining process. Glory is just around the corner. Full bloom mm -hmm. is just around the corner. God is always active in your situation. So you may ask yourself, what are they talking about? What, what, where is all this going? So you can ask yourself the question. You might be saying, so what, what should I be doing right now? While I'm in this time of Kairos, this great time of opportunity, I've been uh, receiving instruction and direction and strategy in agreement with, with the word that's being preached here. What should I be doing right now? I should be continuing to believe and pray. Mm -hmm. I should reject negative speaking. Yes. I should reject negative seeds being planted into my life. Yes. I should continue to be in agreement with God's word. I set my mind and set it with what agrees with God. Mm -hmm. We shared a message with you last year that when you, uh, we talked about praying for a living, mm -hmm. uh, pray and live. Uh, it, when you pray for a living, you always make it through. Somebody say always. Always. You don't give up. We we talked about the widow woman that kept coming and coming and coming and saying to the judge that she wanted to be protected and, and defended. He, he just ignored her, but then it came to a time because she was persistent. Somebody said, I've got to be persistent. Be persistent. If you want something and God has promised, you've got to be persistent because the enemy is not just going to allow you to just walk into it and to just freely just receive everything just because you've received Jesus. That doesn't make you null and void from experiencing things in this earth. We live in a fallen realm. And so you've got to utilize these keys and you've yeah. got to make sure that you have your armor on and keep it on and that armor is in your mi a mindset of Christ yes. amen yes. and the prayer opening up your mouth and declaring the word of God because you know it's quick and powerful it gives you energy hallelujah it's your source it calls you to continue to walk in the light and there'll be no darkness you won't make wrong decisions and go down wrong pathways amen and so you get to the place, amen, that you are persistent and you know which realm that you're operating in. You know that this fight is not against flesh and blood, but you know that this fight is against spiritual wickedness in high places, amen. amen. But you also understand that you are a spirit being, you possess a soul and you live in a physical body, but you've got to allow your spirit to control your soul, which then in turn controls your body, if you understand that, say amen. Somebody say she kept coming. She kept coming. This is in Luke chapter 18. <laughs> and she kept saying to protect her, to, to, to defend her. And this woman, the judge said, this woman continues to bother me, so I'm going to defend her. I'm going to defend her. Mm -hmm. I'm going to protect her. And I'm going to avenge her. Amen. Uh -huh. and, and the Lord said, and this is around verse uh, 6, listen to what the unjust judge says. Uh -huh. So there's going to be some people who, uh, who are unjust or who are not in the church mm -hmm. that are going to do some things and say some things to bless you. Don't don't run away from it. Mm -hmm. We don't want that because that what the what the what the enemy meant for evil, God is working it out and He's giving it to me for my good. Mm -hmm. So it, even ungodly people or ungodly uh, uh, avenues will turn around and be a source of. In a, a source of, of restoration or a sort of resource for you. Mm -hmm. Because here it says this judge was ungodly. Mm -hmm. But he 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 he, de he began to defend her, to protect her, and he said he was gonna avenge her speedily. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because it says here that the Lord said, listen to verse six, the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge said. I just told you that the word of God is 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 quick and powerful. Mm -hmm. The word that God speaks, God spoke. Mm -hmm. And then he said what God said. So because the judge said what God said, it had to work quick and it had to be powerful. Somebody say persistence. Persistence. Come on, Pastor. I know you got something there. <laughs> we have to be persistent. And, Talk about that persistence. And, and our pursuit of our relationship with God. <clears throat> And not so focused on the material thing, because the material thing will come. Mm -hmm. What's most important is your relationship with God, mm -hmm. because when you have a personal relationship with God, you can speak directly to him. We said pray to live. Mm -hmm. And that's what prayer is. Prayer is communion pray with God. Live. 
communicating with God, mm -hmm. a two way conversation where, you know, you understand that God and his word are one. His word is alive. And when when you pray, you are speaking to God, his words. And in return, he's speaking back to you. Mm -hmm. And throughout the process, there's a persistent relationship building going on. And the persistence is a drive and a passion for God. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes we get caught up in focusing on things and circumstances and 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 not uh, 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 take the relationship part of it personal. But that's the most important part. Think of a woman with her child. The moment the woman recognizes and have an understanding that she is pregnant, she is persistent about her care for the child. And that's revealed through her care for her body because the moment that the woman is impregnated, God places a soul in that seed, meaning that it's alive. And so God's word is alive in you the moment that you receive it in your heart. Mm -hmm. And you commune with God with persistence and diligence, hallelujah, and passion, and you care for it, and you are you position yourself to always be in a place where you're utilizing it. Somebody say, pray to live. Pray to live. And now you, you, you begin to live a lifestyle of prayer. A lifestyle of prayer is a lifestyle where I'm in constant communication with my father. Mm -hmm. And so because I'm in constant communication with my father, I, I don't have to I don't have to care about the cares of the world because he supplies my needs mm -hmm. and because I'm in constant communication with my father. I understand that. I can I live in abundance to the full to the overflows. What does that mean? Nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing needed, nothing wanted. He said tribulations will come. That's what Jesus said. But he said, "Be of good cheer." Be of good cheer, because I've overcome the world. Mm -hmm. So he's telling you there are tribulations in the world. But because you're a kingdom citizen, you don't have to be a partaker of it. So because I have a persistent relationship with my father, I'm, I'm passionate in my relationship with my father. Although the tribulation may come, I know that if things are subject to change, because I, because I know tribulations will come, I know that it's just a temporary situation. Because when my daddy get involved, you better not be here when I get back. <laughs> That's how you gotta think when, you, when we're talking about God. You have to be able to speak the language of the father. Amen. A mother speaks and communicates with her child physically when the child is birthed out. The child knows his mother by feel. The child knows that there are resources that it needs, a nourishment that it needs from his mother. So uh, 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 it's necessary for that mother to make herself available. What am I saying to you? God has made himself available and he's already active in your situation. But if you don't pursue the relationship and be persistent and consistent in a relationship, anybody ever been in an inconsistent relationship? You don't want to be a partaker of it. You just want to cut it off. Mm, 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 mm. And so God is saying, I'm here. I have the resources for you, but you can't access them because you don't understand the keys. You don't know how to use yeah, how to use the keys in your life. You got, there's it's no good to have a set of keys. You don't even know which door it opens. Amen. <laughs> You know, that's praying amiss or praying in the wrong direction or right, without right. understanding. I've got a I've got a whole uh, set of keys, but I don't know which door they open. Call the scripture with no understanding. No understanding. Ask, asking a miss. Asking a miss or not even knowing what scripture to yeah, um, that's correspond ooh, that's with what it is that I need. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's time out for us having the keys, mm -hmm. having the keys. Mm -hmm. Walking around with the keys, the keys in the dashboard of the car, the keys open to Psalms 23 on the living room table, mm -hmm. having the keys on our cell phones, mm -hmm. the keys able to be played audibly. We don't even have to read it. We can just push play. 
It's time out for having the keys, but not knowing or having understanding or fervency mm -hmm. to want to even use the keys. Mm -hmm. There's no way around it. We've got to understand that there's no way around it. There's, mm -hmm. there's a part that we have to do and a responsibility that we have to take part in when it comes to manifesting and bringing those promises here to the earth because he told us to be a manager over it. Yeah. Somebody say, I'm a manager over my own life. So whatever I don't have, it's not God. So you mean to tell me <laughs> I'm the manager over the keys, but I lock the keys in the car. So God sent me to the kingdom of heaven because <laughs> the kingdom of heaven, Pastor William and Laquita are the locksmith that's going to open the door to help you get your keys and, and gain access to your car so you can start it and make use of what's made available. He said, I'll give you passes according to my heart who have access to what you need that shall feed you with knowledge and understanding that shall unlock those doors and those mysteries and bring forth knowledge and understanding. But you got to get in agreement. You get in agreement with the pastor is you get in agreement with God uh -huh. because they're the representatives that God has placed on the earth to bring that understanding. Mm -hmm. I've given you pastors according to my heart, according to what I want, according to what I intend, you know, with the same focus, the same mindset, the same concern mm -hmm. that shall feed you mm -hmm. with knowledge and understanding. We that's, that's another thing that we've got to begin to, we're not going to talk about it right now, that we've got to accept when we're talking about um, getting to that place where God has us, when we're talking about trusting in your prophet or trusting in the person that's um, that's that's been placed in your life to speak in your life so that you can understand. Because some of us are being hindered from getting our prayers answered wow. because we can't hear what God is saying because we don't want to hear who it's coming from. Yeah. And so I join a church, but I'm always talking about what the pastor's saying. Or am I always complaining about what they're doing or what they're not doing? Well, maybe that's not the brook for you. Mm -hmm. It is God's desire that you get to that brook that you can be fed. We're supposed to feed you. Yeah. Some people, food is going out, but you're like, you know, you had that baby. You try to give them carrots sometimes. You know, everybody <laughs> had a baby. We used to give them jar food. and they uh -huh. Carrots are good for them, but they don't like how they taste. Uh -huh. So they, they have their lips tight. Mm -hmm. But it's necessary. So that mother still has to make sure that she gets those vegetables in. That's what we do. Sometimes it may not feel good, but you've got to make sure that you receive it because it's what's necessary. I can think about um, when you're talking about coming into agreement with the word of God and being in agreement with those who are assigned to speak over your life. I can think about and this is in relation to prayer when you uh Say, for instance, you enter into you're someone who who was on drugs or alcohol or whatever. And you enter into a program and you sign a consent form or you sign yourself in saying that I agree that whatever it is necessary to get me to completion or get me to wholeness or get me healed or make me normal. Mm -hmm. I agree to whatever that is, be it detox, be it uh, strapped to the bed so I don't hurt myself or whatever the case may be, I agree to that. Mm -hmm. Amen? And so, it's necessary. It don't feel good at the time you see them going through those different stages, but it's necessary. Right. I'm using this as an illustration. Mm -hmm. It's necessary. It don't feel good, but there's a way, there's a process that's been that's being created to get you to a certain place. Mm -hmm. And you can't skip those stages, because if you do, you're going to relapse. Mm. Some people have relapsed because they've skipped stages, amen, and they haven't given the program. You know those people that sign themselves in, they got good intentions, they're there, and you, you have a choice. God said you have a choice. Mm -hmm. He wants you to choose life, mm -hmm. but you have a choice, so in that process, mm -hmm. you can choose to sign yourself out. Mm. Or to step away from that which is designed to bring you healing, to bring you wholeness, to get you to that place. Now, we've got to let you know that there's some things that may happen that don't feel good. Mm -hmm. 
There's those things that may happen that are difficult. I told you during the time of Kairos, that it is not, it's a strategic time, a time of full bloom where, uh, I'm sorry, there's a time where, we, where you, you, you can experience the fruit, but the work is not over. It's a time that can be difficult. It's the time that you're laboring to bring forth. So you've got to understand, like you told us last week, that we're pressing, but you've got to understand what you're going through. So in those times of prayer, prayer, you have to understand, exposes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it, it exposes you. Exactly. And so in that time, if you don't like what you see, you can't quit. you got to understand and, and know that it's a part of the process so you can get rid of it. It's got to go. Those things that are hindering you, those things that are killing you, they've got to go so that you can let go of the weight, the unnecessary weight, so that you can go toward this time of fullness so that you can be stable and you can remain so that you don't relapse. Relapse is going through that cycle, going through those broken relationships over and over, wow. going through lack and poverty over and over, sickness over and over and over, going through the same things over and over because I have not understood where I am and the time that I'm in and wow. discerning what's going on in my life, not just in my life, but in the world. Wow. So you've got to, it goes back to you've got to get in the right fight. So that you can win, knowing that you are depending on him. Mm -hmm. You're depending when you're when you're talking about praying for a living, that's you agreeing with the word of God, and that's you depending on the word of God every day. Mm -hmm. Depending on the spirit of God every day, mm -hmm. depending on the promises of God every day. That's in your marriage and your relationships, even if you're not married and you desire to be married, if you have children, if you desire to have children, whatever the case may be. You're depending on him every day to go into that or to enter into that fullness in that time in your life. Amen. Amen. And that's good. You know, um, and that ties. This into, is good. That ties into the commune with God. Prayer. Pray to live is you communing with God. And that causes you to uh, come to an understanding or a position of being one with God. Mm hmm. And as we are one with God, we know that God framed the world with his words. And now he's given us that authority to frame our world with his words mm -hmm. and as a son and a daughter. Because you're sons and daughters. Mm -hmm. But you don't know that if you don't spend time with the word of God, if no one ever told you that God, when you receive salvation, you are a son. You have all the rights and privileges that Jesus had. Mm -hmm. Romans 8 tells us that, that you are a joint heir with him. And so as an heir, the inheritance is it, it goes to all of God's children, not just the one. And so you're one with God. And now you frame your world based on what you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it, then we have to talk about and, 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 uh, praying to live faith, mixing your faith with the word of God. Amen. Amen. So we just want to leave you with these uh, key points uh, real quick. We don't want to take up a, a lot of your time, but we do want to be led by the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so um, down and really just be up close and personal and just let you know that this life is a good life. It's a real good life. If you master these keys and you understand these keys, this, you you can you can eliminate some of your struggle. Yes. Because you have the mindset that as we started out, he's already overcome the world. Yes. So this is not your fight. Mm. I told you before, it's deeper than that. The devil could care less about your career. He could care. He's after Jesus, mm -hmm. but because Jesus lives on the inside of you, he's giving you authority, and he tells you to be the proof of who he is. He's he, he's he seeks to take you out because if he takes you out, he's taking Jesus out. And so you've got to make sure that you understand that it's a spiritual concept and the enemy is a spiritual force and that the things that you fight is not with flesh and blood. And so you seek resolution quickly because the word of God is quick. You seek to, to reconcile relationships quickly. 
We don't continue to walk in unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. We don't continue to walk in in, in alt. Amen. If, if uh, misunderstandings. Um, we're not saying that if things happen in a relationship that you should just lay down and give in and all that. But you can't get to a space in a healthy place where you're able to uh, uh, govern yourself accordingly. Mm -hmm. And you're able to operate in excellence in the maturity of God. Amen. And so we want to just share with you uh, some prayer foundational truths. And we talked about this before, but God brought it back to our attention that we wanted to go back and just kind of um, re remind you of these and, and, and just give some insight on where we are right now because of where we are right now in our in our society and in, in, in the things that we see every day when we turn on the TV. You've got to make sure you utilize the keys of the kingdom. You've got to meditate and set your uh, thermostat and keep it set. You've got to maintain what you've obtained uh, through the word of God. Amen. You've got to make sure that you continue to confess the word of God because it's quick and powerful. You've got to make sure that you, you understand everything that pastor has been preaching about these keys is now time to utilize them so that we can demonstrate understanding. Anytime a teacher gives a test, she gives you the information throughout the week. And then at the end of the week, here comes the test. The test comes to demonstrate understanding. It's time for you to demonstrate mastery over the word of God. It's time for you to, uh, and, and when you demonstrate that mastery, you're able to show that you can unlock some things. Some things that's been locked up, you're able to. I just could not get that figured out. I just cannot get to that place. I just didn't know how to quite bring all of the ideas in with to start that business, to make it successful. I just didn't quite know how to do it. But now I have a per I have the, the, the I have the key. I, I, first of all, I'm, I'm, I'm taught by the master key and I have the key that unlocks that and the key fits and it works. And I'm able to walk through and I'm able to gain access into that area that I haven't been able to gain access to before. Amen. Amen. And so the first key, the first uh, uh, foundational truth where praying for uh, and living is concerned is God and his word are one. And, and, and we have to understand that God's word um, are what gave life to everything. Everything that was created. And we talked about the light. We talked about it giving us energy. We talked about it being the source. We talked about it uh, us drawing nourishment and strength from the word of God. And the darkness, darkness can never overpower it. It can never overpower it. And we have to have confidence that when we ask anything according to his word, because he and his word are one, that we have it. Amen. So we rely on his Holy Spirit. We rely on the Holy Spirit and, 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 and we operate in the mind of God when we understand that God and his word are one. So it's important that we continue to uh, uh, allow the word of God to, to dwell richly. In us. We can't do it without the word of God. We can't build a relationship with God without going through his word. There's no Amen. other way around it. Amen. And so with the things that we're faced with, even today, we've got to go to the word. When you're talking about praying and living, you have to go to the word. When you don't know what to pray, go to the word. If you feel like you can't live or life is getting hard, go to the word. Because when you go to the word, you're going to God. Amen. Amen. You have anything to add on that, Pastor? No. You the second truth. We are made one with God through his word. That We pretty much just talked about that. Um, mm -hmm. And and and. And the, the scripture that would, would go along, let me just back up with um, God and his word are one is John one and one. In the beginning was the word, the word was God and the word was with God. That's the that's the, the foundation of that. Um, and so uh, the second one is we are made one with God through his word. And that's according to John chapter 17. John chapter 17 in verse 22. And it says, um, and the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them that they may be one, even as we are one. I in them and thou, and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one and that the world may know that thou has sent me and has loved them as thou has loved me. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Father, I will be that they also whom thou hast given me, this is verse 24, may be with me where I am so that they may see my glory. Um, 25, O righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and thee have known that thou hast sent me. 26, and I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. So we are made one with the word of God. We're of one heart, one mind, unified together individually. Amen. And so we become mature in this oneness. And then we begin to give evidence to the world. But we have to spend time with the word. We have to meditate on it. Amen. Anytime we pray, we've got to be in total agreement with God's will in order to receive an answer to this prayer or to our prayers. That's when we're firm. That's where we're rooted and grounded, unmovable. And we're, that's when we're stable like that tree. Amen. Amen. You want to add to that? You want me to keep going? Mm -hmm. Amen. The third one is God's word is a spiritual law. God's word is a spiritual law. And if you can't take notes, you can go back. Um, Cause we, we should always go back and, and view these because some things you may not catch during the, uh, the live mm -hmm. John six and 63. It is the spirit who gives life. He is the life giver. The flesh conveys no benefit, whatever. There is no profit in it. The mm -hmm. word or truth that I have been speaking to you are spirit and our life. He says here, the word is truth. Mm -hmm. God's word is life making. God's word is life changing. God's word is truth. Mm -hmm. God's word is life making. God's word is life changing. And God's word is true. Flesh can't comprehend it. Flesh will never be able to comprehend what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. You've got to see this through the life of the spirit. That's what faith is all about. Mm -hmm. uh, um, we trust in what we can't see because we know it's already done. Mm -hmm. When we talked about those roots under, uh, uh, we approach God. When we approach God, we approach him in truth. Mm -hmm. So again, our flesh, our fight is not against flesh and blood. So, um, We've got to get ourselves, uh, we've, we have to get ourselves out of the way when we pray if we expect to see the results that God has for us. Somebody say get into the right fight. Yeah, you got you to gotta get into the right fight. And, you know, uh, with this point, you understanding that God's word is spirit in life. You have to understand prayer is not just simply you, 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 you asking God for everything. It has to come to a place of maturity where when... When, when you have communed with God, your prayer is it turns into a declaration. And the declaration is the word of God. Mm -hmm. And you say God and his word are one. So the word of God is the life of God. And because it's spirit, you got to understand that when the word is spoken, because it's spiritual, it takes shape and form mm -hmm. to manifest the promise. Mm -hmm. Y'all understand that? It, 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 the seed when implanted and when a woman is impregnated, that seed takes shape and form. Mm -hmm. And that's the same with the word of God. The life of God is in the, in the word of God, which is our seed. Mm -hmm. So when we speak it, it takes shape and form and produces after its own kind. Amen. Healing, deliverance, restoration, uh, resources. That's, that's what that means. Amen. Get into the right fight. Get into the right fight. The fourth, the fourth um, foundational truth is God framed, and we've said this already, God's framed this world with his words so that he put it in order, Hebrews 11 um, and 3. Through faith, we understand that the world were framed by God, framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Or things that are visible. So he spoke in the invisible realm, uh, gave birth to all that we see. Amen. So the entire universe was formed. Mm -hmm. uh, he birthed out what was on the what was on the inside of him. Mm -hmm. All that was inside of him was made manifest, and he said it was good. His words were made flesh. Yeah. He was very strategic, very direct. We have to be very strategic and very direct and call those things what we intend for them to be. So if you're calling things that you don't intend, you better quit calling them mm -hmm. because you understand the power that's been placed on the inside of you. 
And then the fifth one is as sons and daughters, we frame our world with our words is what I'm just talking about. <laughs> and we put them in order. And that's according to Job chapter 22. And, and we're, I don't have to go there. We all know decree a thing and so shall it be established. Yes. Amen. Uh, 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 take heart. To, take, take, take heed to what you're saying. Yeah. Amen. Take heed to what you're saying. Uh, uh, make sure that you're speaking what God is speaking and don't speak anything that you don't intend to grow because what we see in your garden is what you planted was what or, or what you've allowed to to be planted amen because we're made in his likeness and his image that means we have the ability to to create mm -hmm. either good or bad so what you said point three four and and five they all go together all of them god's word is spirit in his life god framed the world with his words and as sons and daughters, we are to frame our world with his words. Mm -hmm. And you live on this planet Earth. This Earth, when God spoke, it took shape and form and became what he said. Mm -hmm. So because you are his son and his daughter, you are to speak his words in your life. And it will take shape and form to produce mm -hmm. the kingdom life here on the earth for you. And so you said something key. I, I'm responsible for what's planted in my yeah, garden. I call the shots. And so when I speak, I'm framing my world and my body has to respond because my body is a part, it came out of the earth. So it takes shape and form to what I said. So if I speak sickness, accept sickness, uh, be a partaker of it, then that's what takes shape and form in my life. Mm -hmm. If I speak the life of God, the, the wisdom of God, the love of God, the peace of God, that's what has to take shape and form and manifest in my life. Listen, real quick. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Genesis uh, 2 and 19, when we're talking about calling the shots, mm -hmm. and we're talking about making sure that what we intend to be, we don't speak it. So those things that we call forth, God called for, for things he intended to be according to the power that was within him. So when we speak mm -hmm. things, they come to be according to the power that's within us or what we intend. In Genesis 2 and 19, he, he brought forth um, all the animals to Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called them, that was the name thereof. The cattle was the cattle. The dog was the dog. The horse was the horse. So we have that same power on the inside of us, whether good or bad, to call forth those things into our lives, into existence. So, But you've got to understand and choose life. We're talking about choosing life today. God has given us the ability to call the shots. He's given us the ability to call it what it is. It's time for you to start calling what, what you want and what you intend that, that, that creates that life of goodness instead of creating or building up or erecting a life of, of doom and gloom and defeat. Mm -hmm. And woe is me. Amen. Amen. Because you've got to understand the power that's been given to you. Amen. Um, and so number six is we're on number six. When we remain in God and his words remain in us, whatever we ask will be done. And that's John 15. And we read that earlier. Mm -hmm. um, that's according to John chapter 15. So when we remain in God and his words remain in us, whatever we ask will be done. Why? Because it's based on the word of God. It's rooted and grounded in the word of God. God's answers can flow through you when you stay connected to him. God's answers can flow through from the heavens to the earth when you're connected to him because you're connected to the source. Mm -hmm. You're connected to where the answers come from. Mm -hmm. That's when you can ask anything and it will be granted or established or permitted or approved um, or allowed here on the earth because you're connected to God. God listens and he hears you and he acts on it mm -hmm. because of that. Mm -hmm. So that's why, you know, we're like that tree planted by the rivers of living water, 
Because in that is fruitfulness. Being planted and connected to God brings forth fruitfulness. And not just plain old fruit, but just, it is, the Bible says, much fruit. Amen. Amen. So we're, we're, we're making sure that we're staying connected to him. We're joined with him. Amen. That represents having a relationship with him. And then number seven is when we mix our faith, this is what you were talking about earlier. When we mix our faith with God's word, we receive his benefits. Amen. Hebrews four and uh, two. And I'll read that one real quick. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard. So when we mix our faith, that means that we're leaning entirely on God in absolute trust and confidence in his power, in his wisdom. Mm -hmm. But these that heard it here didn't. So they didn't receive because they didn't mix their faith with what they heard. So we've got to enter into prayer and believing that we receive based on the promise, not our current situation. Amen. Based on the promise, not by what it looks like, what it seems like or feels like, but what we see in the word of God. Amen. So, uh, you know, we talk about it all the time. Faith is how we deal with what we don't see physically. And we remember that we are people of faith. And so we walk by what God has said and not by his word. And then the last one is number eight. Everything we need for life is deposited in us through the knowledge of God's word. That's Amen. another king, the key. Somebody Amen. say a kingdom lifestyle. Kingdom lifestyle. Kingdom lifestyle. Second Peter chapter one mm. and verse three. For his divine power has bestowed upon us that are requisite and suited to life and godliness through the full personal knowledge of him who called us by and to his own glory and excellence virtues. According as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us into glory and virtue. Amen. We experience supernatural increase, um, getting to know God personally, intimately, a life that's devoted to him. That's where the, pop, the power comes from. We, we're, we're fully persuaded. Um, we have the power to, that we have the power to create. We have the power to complete the mission. We're praying so that we can live. That's where we are. He, he's put his words in our in our mouth so that we can plant to heaven. It's time for us to, we've got to remember, the Holy Spirit revealed to us that it was important that we go back to this concept, that we talk about this praying to live because a lot of times we get so busy in what's going on in the world and we forget that we have a key. And one of those keys is to pray. Depend on God. Trust in God. You don't know what to pray. Say what he says. Amen. You've been given so many uh, 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 resources and insight today just for you to make it through anything that you're faced with on this week. So you're without excuse and you've got help. Go back to this message. Look at it. Review it. Listen to it. You have everything that you need on a, a level that everybody can understand. So we're without excuse so that we can make sure that we live and not die as we as we as we uh, began, that you should live and not die, but declare the glory of the Lord. It's time to get full. It's time to move on and prepare. As like I said, as we move into the month of May to prepare to move into this time of this time of fullness, this time of full bloom, this time of complete um, uh, grandeur, magnificence and splendor of what God has promised in your life. And grandeur, magnificence and splendor is not just experienced by you, but everybody you come into contact can see it. Mm -hmm. They can experience it. Amen. They can draw from it. Amen. Amen. And so we just thank you for um, your 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 patience. We 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 ended with um, mixing your faith. But one of the keys we talked about was mixing your faith with the Word of God. And even in that, when when and this is an area that we don't like to talk about in church. It's always gotten a bad rap when it's time to sow. You can't expect the harvest in an area where you have not sown. Sowing is a is a kingdom principle. It's a it's a spiritual principle. And so 
We reap in those areas. Every seed is produced after, that is that's planted produces after its own kind. And so we're we're jumping and screaming when the word comes and says financial blessings coming your way and houses and cars and land, but we're not ever sowing into that. Yeah, when you present the opportunity to sow, or, this is a great you know, opportunity. We see offering. You you know that's when people want to go away, but I'm changing that. It's a spiritual concept. You know, it's not about. It's deeper than what what's going to be done with the money. What where is the money going? You've got to get past that and see it as a spiritual a force or a spiritual concept. That anytime I sow a financial seed into the ground, God it is a spiritual uh, force and a spiritual concept that unlocks rams of financial increase in my life. I could care less. On a natural level, what occurs because my mindset and my understanding is on the spiritual aspect Amen. of planting and reaping and Amen. harvesting. Amen. Yeah. But just know that when you do plant seeds here, it does go back into the ministry. It goes back into the working. Even just having to stream virtually and having to upgrade um, technical things or equipment and being able to stream and not be interrupted and different things of that nature, it takes money. And so if you've been blessed, and 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 I'm not going to say if God placed it on your heart to sow, because we got to get past that too. We do it because it's the right thing to do. Amen? We sow into the kingdom. Amen? Because you're always going to reap a harvest. It's guaranteed increase. Yeah, but it goes And that's to, another message, but yeah, we it have goes to. back to what we just sat here and talked about. For it's moment. one of the keys. You know. You got it's to have to give. You, when you give, you give from your heart. And just like you expect financial increase to come to you, you should always position yourself to sow. Amen. You, yeah, you're sowing of your strength financially, but you in, in your sowing, you got to be speaking. Like we sow, we, we give into this just like you all do. We do. And when we sow, we're always declaring, oh, this seed is coming back a thousand a times. A thousand times. Uh, this seed is coming so back. So I'm not to worried me. about so it. We're, we're <laughs> not worried about it. We're it it's not it's not our struggle. Amen. Because Amen. we we give from our heart. Because we love God, we honor God, we trust mm -hmm. God. And, and 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 that's that's how you sow. That's that's why you give. You you and, and when you give maturely, it takes it, it takes maturity. It does. And because you know? you know that every time you sow, that you're transforming the world and manifesting the kingdom. Yeah. Every time that you sow a seed, you're transforming the world and you're manifesting the kingdom. Every time you log on and you come into agreement and you're you're sharing this broadcast and you're sharing these streams, you're transforming the world and manifesting the kingdom. Sowing comes in different uh forms. But right now we, we've got to get to the place where we 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 shut the enemy down where he has come in and infiltrated um and given a bad rap to the the area of sowing because sowing and reaping the way the reason why he hates it is because sowing is a spiritual principle that can unlock some things and get some it's a key that can unlock some things in your life because you've got to be operating in a certain mindset that says that I don't have a fear of running out. That says that I, my dependence and my sufficiency is in Christ. So I'm not looking at the natural things. Somebody may say, well, um, I don't know if I'm going to have enough. And I don't know if I'm going to have enough to do this or do that. But your focus shouldn't be on not having enough. Your focus should be on having enough. More than enough. And more than enough. Amen. Amen. And so uh, just, just, be, just be prayerful. Just be continue to bring yourself up and mature in that area because God wants us to have balance mm -hmm. in every area of our lives. Yeah. Just continue to, 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 to study and to um, gain understanding on the principle, the spiritual principle of sowing and reaping. Amen. And so we have the cash app and you can mail it in and the information is on the screen. Um, and the ways that, that, that you can give and that you can sow into the ministry, the PayPal, and just know that any seed of any kind, uh, of any amount mm -hmm. is appreciated because it takes all of us together, making sure that the mission is complete. Amen. We feed the homeless. We uh, 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 we do a whole lot We here at the kingdom other than just get on here every week and, and broadcast. Amen. We're doing things. God is continuing to move. You know, we, we people come and they can't pay bills and, 
you know, they're they're they can't they're losing their jobs or they need medication or whatever it is. When they come to the kingdom, we don't turn people away. Amen. We try to meet the need, but at the same time, we have to give you understanding and and, and let you gain knowledge on how to come out of that place so that you can now tell someone else and teach someone else how once you were there and now because of the key of sowing and reaping amen that you have understood you've come from that place and now you're bringing someone else up amen and so you're duplicating and you're multiplying and you're replicating amen amen hallelujah well we pray that you got something out of that amen if you um are on here today and you're saying that i want to take part in what they're talking about um, being able to pray and live and, and go on to understand those things that they're talking about and you want to receive salvation today that's simply saying that you want to be rescued from the life the thought process or whatever it is that you're going through that it doesn't line up with the word of god and that's you it's just simply you just raising your hand right where you are mm -hmm. and saying lord I, I i confess with my mouth and i believe in my heart that god raised jesus from the dead and I make a conscious decision to live according to your word, to get to get into agreement with your word mm -hmm. so that I can walk in your the, the divine will that you have for my life. Mm -hmm. And if you agree with that and you have received that and you repeated that or prayed that prayer or had that in your heart, then you've just been rescued. You've just been saved and you've just been set apart and sealed with these promises mm -hmm. that we're talking about here today mm -hmm. and just make a decision to gather yourself around people of like faith, mm -hmm. to join this church mm -hmm. or to join a church where you can be fed, you can be matured, you can be strengthened, and that you can continue to grow. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for you. We appreciate you. We uh, we pray that you take this word that you heard on today and utilize the keys of the kingdom and pray and live this life of kingdom, this kingdom life. Amen. So as we prepare to close, let's 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 turn our focus back to the to the Lord. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the gathering of the champions. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that your people's heart was open to hear and receive your word. And we thank you that they received it with gladness. We thank you, Lord, that they've received with, received your word with clarity yes. and understanding. Yes, Lord. Holy Spirit, cause the word that they received on today to come alive within them. Yes. Cause your words to take shape and form in their lives and manifest your glory like never before. Like never before. And we'll be careful to give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. Now, Father, we release your angels and give them charge over us to keep us in all of our ways, protecting us from hurt, harm, and danger. Jesus. We speak over this weekend. We bless this weekend. We declare that this week will be the week of the outpouring of yes. your spirit, thank the you week Lord. of the manifestation of your glory you, from spiritual into natural. We thank, thank you, Lord, Lord, right now. Thank we release healing, deliverance, and restoration in the lives of your people. Jesus. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and present yes. you faultless before his glorious presence. Thank be you. glory, majesty, dominion, and power now, henceforth, and forever. Let us all say... Amen. Don't forget to join us on Thursday for Carriers of the Kingdom at 650. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Have a wonderful Sunday Jesus. and a magnificent week. Hallelujah. Amen. We love Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We love you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hey, hallelujah. Come on, somebody say he's made a way. As we begin to log off, let's just tell him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that you've made a way. Come on, let's flood the comments section with, uh, with his goodness. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We love you. Amen. We love you, Clay Nell. We see you. Amen. Say, He's made a way. Hallelujah. Come on and say, He's made a way. I'm not worried about it because God has already made a way. Amen. Say, He's made a way. My God has made a way. Can you say that? I'm not worried about it because he's already made a way. God has made a way. My God has made a way. See, I'm not worried about it. Come on, somebody say, I'm not worried about it. I'm not concerned with it because he's made a way. My God has made a way. My God has made a way. So I'm not concerned about it
Cause he's already made a way and Yes, he has God, he made a way Isn't that there's strength in that? There's just strength in just saying Lord, I know you made a way Cause I'm not worried about it Because you've already made a way You've already paved the way Said he's made a way My God has made a way Yes, he has So I'm not worried about it Because he's already made a way He's made a way Yes, he has Said he's made a way Said he's made a way He's made a way My God has made a way Go through your week just saying he's made a way No matter what it looks like, he's made a way Hallelujah, no matter what it looks like No matter what it feels like He's active in my situation And I know he's made a way He's made a way My God has made a way He's made a way He's made a way out of no way Out of no way Yes, he has My God has made a way Thank you, Jesus He's made a way He's made a way I'm not worried about it See, this is how it is when you're in love with Jesus You can't even let it go He's made a way He's made a way Hallelujah My God has made a way Yes, he has I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. Cause my God has made a way. My God has made a way. My God has made a way. Yes, He has. So I'm not worried about it. Because He's already made a way. He's already made a way. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We love you so much, Jesus. We love you so much, Jesus. We love you so much, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm not worried about it. Hallelujah. Say, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. Because it's already made a way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We love you. Hallelujah, we gotta let this thing go. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. He's already made a way. Yes. Already made a way. Said he's made a way. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. Indeed.